Hello, hi, it's Liz here and welcome to my channel. Today I have my little concertina uh, journal out to have a play with and I thought I would add, today I would add a cover and pre-decorate some of the pages so that it's good to go whenever I want to do a little bit of journaling in it. Yeah, so a cover. So I've been playing around and I have this. First of all, for those who don't know, this concertina journal is made from pages from my excellent charity shop find. Um, it's a brilliant book, two pounds, um, and it's absolutely gorgeous, packed full with pages that you would want to use in a junk journal. So it was a great find and I know someone left a comment saying that they were trying to track one down and it was going to be, I think, $45 or something. I don't know how much that is in, in pounds, but it's certainly more than two. <laughs> okay, so I've got a bit of the book to use as a cover and I will just tell you what the measurements are so that you know. So it's lengthwise a smidgen over 10 inches and that way is 5 and a quarter inches and in centimetres it's, let's turn the ruler around for that, it's 26 centimetres by to almost 13 and a half. Obviously, I just, I didn't measure it. I just held it against the book that was already made and just, I knew that I wanted to do that. So I just cut it to size um, and just made it slightly bigger than the, than the pages. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick down. I want the front to be level with the first page. So I'm just going to put it to the edge there and then just turn that one in. Maybe leave a little a little space. And all I've done is stitched round the edges. Obviously you don't need to do that, but it makes it quite fancy. And I'm just going to stick the back page down onto there and the front page to there so that that will open. Now, wait a minute, if I do that and I stick, if I stick the front page, that means I won't be able to open it out like that. Hmm, I, don't, I hadn't thought of that. If I stick that page and that page, then I can only really use the front. I can't use the back. I wonder if I should just keep the, I wonder if I shouldn't stick it down and just keep the cover loose. Or should I just stick the front, if I stuck, <laughs> I should have thought about this. If I stick the front cover like that and don't stick the back cover, then I can do that and I can get to the back and I can still do that. So that's the trick. Just stick the front cover and then you can still get to the front pages and if that was stuck down, you can still get to the back pages. Right, that's it. So don't stick the back, stick the front. Yeah. Okay. So glue on this bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Just using a glue stick and I'm just going to go around. Right. So it was just going to be this onto this. Yeah. Right. 
and it's just slightly larger so that's okay yeah that's fine so that's the front so we open it like that we can flip through we can get to the back and we can flip through and we can still pull it out yes i don't know what made me think that i would be sticking that back bit to there because that just makes it i suppose if you didn't want to use the back you could easily stick that bit down onto that but we want to use the back as well so that's fine right so let's um think about what we're going to do to the cover i think i'm going to add the word journal and i'm going to use my stamp set my alphabet stamp set for that and some morning mist which is a dark grey versafine ink pad so i think i want the word journal here yeah so let's just open it out so the word journal here and i'm going to start I'm going to write it backwards because I don't know how much room I'm going to need because I'm just going to do it all in lowercase and if I start here I want it to end here I want it to end at the L so I'm going to spell it backwards and start with the L at the end there so that I end up in the right place so Some of these are still stuck together at the rubber because they're just new. And this doesn't need to be dead straight and I don't even mind at all about the little bits of ink because I think that looks quite um, grungy and typey looking. So then... Don't be thinking I'm really smart and that I can spell backwards. <laughs> Write it out on a bit of spare paper because you think you'll be able to spell it backwards and that's a secret. I shouldn't be. You'll be thinking. <laughs> I thought I'll let you think I'm really smart and I can spell backwards, but I've actually got it written out. <laughs> because I've tried this before without writing it out and it's amazing how you can easily make a mistake and a U um, and will be cure where's my U? Yeah, here we are U and O And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to overlap, but I didn't know where to start with the jai so that it would all fit in. But that's exactly what I wanted. Because that sort of makes it look like number two journal, even though it's not. Yep, that's cool. And for a closure, I have this piece of silk sari ribbon which has got lost loads of loose threads but I'm just going to leave them just now because I'll be I'd be forever pulling off the loose bits and it's it's one big roll and it joins on to the next colour so we'll just clip that bit off because that's bit that bit's all sewn um, and I'm going to use this slot punch to punch roughly. Roughly in the middle. And then I think we'll put 
both both bits through. Let's see how it goes like that. Yeah, and then just put that through. Maybe a different tie a bow or something. But for just now, we'll just leave it there because I'm going to be in and out. Yeah, that's quite cool. Pull that a little bit tighter, that'll be fine. Yeah, so you can leave that just now and I'm going to decorate the rest of the cover. I'm going to put something down here, I think. Something down here. So let me just move these stamps out of the way. And I have a little tree I have picked out. Some bits, some washi, some stickers, some ephemera and some sayings. So I'm going to just dip in to this tree and decide what's going to be on the cover. Um, I quite like this homemade happiness. Mm -hmm. Or here's moments, moments and places, but it's a bit pink. I like this. This girl's quite nice and she picks up the colour from the, the ribbon. I think we might do Let's just open that out so that it's flat and we're roughly doing it to about there. So I think we'll go with her and maybe put something behind her. That's good. And maybe just some moshi. Right, let's see how that looks for now. So we'll get this stuck down. is a sticker so that's easy Might need to add a little bit of glue to that because it's just at the bend a little bit. I think that's going to come up. We'll see how it goes. Right. A little bit of washing, I think. Okay, 
Right, so I'm going to have to put it's not sticking. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Good. Maybe something over here. What could we have over there? What have I got in this tray of goodies? sticker. What's this? Radiate positive vibes. Hmm. Not keen. Here's a, a yellowy thing that might pick up the I quite like that because that picks up that orangey yellow in the ribbon. I'm not sure about the books now. What else have we got? That's quite good. Mm -hmm. And there's this. That's good because that picks up the colour in the, the girdle. So let's see if we can... better. Right. So for inside I've got my basket of pre-made from my mass makes. There's some um, decorated mini envelopes, there's pockets and there's um, page edgers, whatever they're called. <laughs> Things you put down the edge of a page. Um, so what I'm going to go and do, what I'm going to do just now is go inside the book and um, use some of my pre-made from the mass makes. It's great to do the mass makes, but you know, it's even better to find a spot for them. you think yeah pleased with that so let's do now do we want a little bit of washi there just to pull in that washi I've got a little bit that was left yes I think so right let's just move the tray out the way and bring in my basket. This is the basket of pre-made and um, I've got envelopes and pockets and little clusters so I'm hoping to use up quite a few in this journal and that will make it 
Oh, that, that opens good now because it opens right to the front page that I've already journaled on the first few and I've already added a few bits to that um, but I think we'll put something else and we'll just go through the book and on the pages where I think there's less journaling spots like you can journal on this bit I could even journal with a white pen on the dark bits but this will be the journaling spot for these two pages so we can put something here so I'm thinking so there's the envelopes there's quite a few envelopes there's quite a few little pockets and there's some decorative cards And let's see, there's the clusters. Let's put a cluster here. I'm, not, I'm going to try and not think about this too much, but I can't stop myself. The pink here picks up the pink in those boxes. And I think we'll do that. So I think we'll get the magazine out. Put plenty on. Now, where do we want to put this? Doesn't matter if it's hanging over the edge a little bit. Let's just put it at the top there. And I think what I'll do is to make it look as if it's sinking into the page. We'll use some of this washi. Use some of the, the black, I think. That bit's folded over. Oops, sorry. And that just kind of makes it sink into the page, if you know what I mean, rather than it's just plonked on the top. Okay, so one page done. We'll keep that bit for another page. Waste not, want not. Right, what can we put here? Here's a greyish, bluish page. Maybe we'll put a, an envelope. So that it flips open and that'll be fine on that page. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Oh, I'm loving finding a spot for all these mass make, pre made things. Right, it was here. There we are. Good. And that can flip open. We can have something in there. And maybe we'll still put something underneath here and something here. Because there's journaling spots and then I'll have something in there to journal in. So we can put something here. I wonder if we could put one of one of the side hmm. that's a better one because it picks up the blue I think we'll put that one there Yep. My desk is going to get in a proper guddle here. <laughs> Too many things out. Oh, I can't be doing with that. Too many things out. So it's brightened up the last few days here. So I haven't been in the crafty room. 
we've been out and about. We went to Helensborough. I think I've told you about Helensborough before. Helensborough is a little town just at the mouth of the River Clyde. So you feel as if you're at the coast, but you're not really at the coast. The river's very wide at that point. That's where John Logie Beard was born. Invented to television. I'm just going to wipe the glue off these wee edge bits here. They're popping through the other way. Oh, I like that. That's nice. And that bit folds out. Okay, so what can we do here? Let's add something nice to this page. Yeah, so we had a lovely lunch. Oh, that goes quite well there. I think we'll put that there. And we'll leave, we'll leave the side open so that we can pop something in it. Like it on this side. Or will we just go for it and put it down and it means we can journal on this dark bit here. I think we'll just put it straight down. What else have I got though? Because I've got pockets. Where are the pockets? See here. It's quite nice with a pocket as well. Mm. I think we'll stick with the daisy. Yeah, so we had a lovely lunch and the in Helensborough there's um it's like a a green when there's a church in one corner and nice buildings and then the place we have lunch is at one of the corners and in the middle it's all landscaped. There's uh, lawns and and nice flower beds and nice um, benches for people to sit on and you can just, and there's no traffic at that bit because it's just a big, nice square. I suppose if you were in Italy, it would be a piazza, <laughs> but you're not. So it's just a town square. Now, I wonder if we've got a nice scene that we could add to this bit in my tray. I've got a live in the moment, which might be quite nice there. Well, I think I'll split that and put one bit there and one bit there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to move that basket back a bit. Put glue in that and glue on this bit. Do you ever feel you run out of fingers? <laughs> I do that with the washing. I've got a bit of washing on every finger. That's quite cool. Right, we'll leave that page. We've got a journal and spot here if I use the black pen and here if I use the white pen. So let's think about maybe putting something on that page. Or will we put it here? so that we can just leave this bit because that's actually quite a nice image there the candle and a shell and whatnot. I think we'll put something here here's our lift for the moment but it uses up quite a lot of the space there uses up quite a lot. What else have we got? Hmm. I could just clip it on. Just use a little paper clip. Maybe 
maybe I don't need that as journal and spot if I put if I put all oh, that goes there and that picks up look the pink in the background and that picks up that colour. Can you see that? Yeah. And then I'll just use something to put I'll just have I got a tag? I think I might have a tag that I could pop in there that I could journal on the back. that go in there? Yep. Oh, perfect. So let's do that with that. So I'm just going to glue this down. Oh, it was worth spending the time making these mass makes pre-made. Do you do that yourself? Do you make a batch of things. I quite like doing it. Make a batch of things. And um, keep them in a basket. And, uh, and then you're good to go. That's the ones I made just uh, last week, I think it was. Or the beginning of the week. No, it would be last week with the material. That was our Roxy's challenge. Oh, that's cool. Right, so how are we doing? That was already done. We've got a cluster there. We've got the envelope there. This side bit. A card here. A pocket here with a, a spot to journal on in the back. Right. Ah, now, what are we going to put here? Maybe another side. One with a photograph. What have we got? That's the clusters. See, I'm getting mixed up now. Put the clusters back. So we've got... Love the moment. I don't mind things popping out. That would be quite cool when they pop out. Yeah, when they're too big for the page. That's quite good there because that matches that crocheted lace there, doesn't it, somehow? And the black and white. I like it on that page. What else have we got? That's quite good too. No. This one. Yep, let's just go for it this one. You know, it might end up that I'll be using everything up and I won't have enough. <laughs> and I'm going to have to do more mass makes. I won't mind that at all. Right, and we're going to go here. Yeah. Let's just rub the glue off those bits. It will dry in anyway, it's not touching anything. Yeah, and we'll just leave that page. We can journal there on a white pen, with a white pen. Right, there's a spot here. Let's cover this bit up. What will we do? We've got clusters. That's quite a good one because it's nice and bright. I love this one. Oh, that one blends in quite well. Perfect. I'm not I'm trying not to overthink it. Oh, glue stick. Might need to go and grab a new one. The new ones are just over there. Just maybe just out of reach. <laughs> right, we'll put this just, where will we put it? Just here. Put it right down the corner because it's got a straight corner. Well, we could have left that open and made it a tuck. Too late was the cry. Let me just reach in for my glue stick. There we are. 
to move my squeaky chair back. <laughs> right. New glue stick. Just put that one over there. And that's um now I think maybe I'll put something here from my tree. What have we got that will match? Let me show you what I've got. That might be quite nice. With something. Ooh. What is this? A pretend post pretend postage stamp. That's quite good. With I've got a butterfly over there. Hmm. Quite like that, if we overlap that. And then we could find maybe something. Oh, she's got a nice face. What do you think of that little collage there? I think that's quite nice. Yep, let's go for that. Now, I think that and that are stickers. I think this is a sticker. So let's try. Yep. I want to see some of that text. So we'll put it there. Is that a sticker? I don't think so. Might be. I don't think it is. I think I was taking the, the little bit of card apart. And how was this? I know this is a sticker. So everything's just slightly overlapping and I think we'll add a little bit of the black washi again just to balance out this dark piece here. I've got this little bit left. A tiny bit over up here. Yeah, and let's just use it all up. Here we are. Yeah, I'm liking that. Right, so there's not many pages on the front. Now, this page, I do quite like that there. There's definitely no logic to this. Um, but I'm wondering if, again, we would just do a wee 
collage up here similar to the one on the page before so let's see what we've got there's something that's got a little bit of pink in it that's quite good here's something that says one big journey What do you think? I think I quite like that. What else have I got? That's quite good. It's as if she's going on a journey. Here's, here's cake. Biscuits and cake. <laughs> do you know... I like that let's go with that so we'll get down one big journey I wonder if I want to put that in the top there that's not a sticker I got so many packs of things and I just put them all into one box and I should have kept the stickers separate from the the pieces of ephemera because now I'm like, oh, is that a sticker or is that not a sticker? <laughs> so while we were at Helensborough having our lunch, there was lots, we take Millie, obviously, we take Millie everywhere. <laughs> There's no show without Millie. And um, so she sits absolutely no bother beside the table. On the We put a rug down because when you're a greyhound and you don't really have any fur. Well, she's got fur, but she's a, a skin and bone, really, as all greyhounds are. Um she uh, she lies quite the thing on that let me just pull this forward so that i can see because i want that cat to land just there we are good um and so other dogs um always are coming up to say hello obviously and she she'll get up from her rug and have a sniff and whatnot but there was um, there was a boy dog, and she's a girl. There was a boy dog. I think it was no, it wasn't a pug because it was bigger than a pug. Maybe a bulldog, but not an English bulldog, not a great big bulldog, like a medium sized. No, I'm not going to cover that. Yeah, that's good. I wonder, do I want a little bit of washing there? A little bit of the grey, maybe. Let's give it a go. Um, so, yeah, so they had their usual hello, you know, bit of a waggy tail, bit of a sniff. And um, and if you're easily offended, please shut your ears just now because I'm going to tell you what happened next. And really... The owner should really keep their dog more under control because it made a dive for poor Millie. She didn't know what was happening. <laughs> so I'm not going to explain it too much, but dog owners will get the gist. Um, the boy dog still had its bits, so was still up for having a go. Poor Millie didn't know what was happening. Oh my goodness, mind you, the owner was all apologies, but I was like, well, you know, if they're prone to doing that, then you really need to keep them more under control. Poor Millie. And she's looking at us as if, you let that happen to me there? 
quick. It happened so quick. That's nice there, isn't it? That's quite nice there. I think I'll put that there. And then we're nearly at the last page on this side before we do the other side. And I think then I'll call it a day and we'll do the other side another day. So I think we'll put that there and then that will be that. So, oh my goodness. I've not had a dog doing that before to our dog. Really? It was quite funny though afterwards. Once, I mean, it was only for a second and the owner pulled, pulled the dog away. But really. <laughs> oh, I don't know. My poor girl. And she's looking at us as if, what happened to you? <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, not to worry. Right, maybe something here. What about another envelope? And then that will be the first page of that way. So we're still that way to do. But we'll do this. We'll do this side. Do you know, I don't think mushrooms match a baby. What about this? Does that match? Not really. What about a cluster? Hmm. What have I got? Hmm. Too big. That, put that there. That works quite well because there's pink there and then that's nice and pink. I think we'll do that. Right, and then that's us. I think it was a good idea to uh, as well to pick out some bits and put them in this tree because otherwise I bring out my box of stuff and there's just too many things too many things to choose from and then it takes me I don't know hours to decide hours to get a couple of pages done because I'm like oh that goes nice no oh, that goes nice too oh, I'll pick. and then even worse is Oh, I don't want to pick that because I'm saving that for the perfect day. I'm just going to take a little smidgen off of that. Yeah. There we are. So. Let's tidy up and then have a look at what we've done. I've got this closure. So we made the cover and we decorated the cover. This isn't still isn't sticking down right. I'm going to have to get the, the big guns out, the glue out, rather than just the stick. So that'll go nice like that. We stamped this. We did a little collage there. And that was already done because I've already started journaling in this. And then we added a cluster there. This side bit, an envelope, a card, a pocket with a tag, a side bit. Although a side bit in this journal covers the whole page. A cluster. A little collage, I'm liking that, yep, for sure, a little collage here, nice, and a side bit here and a cluster there, and that means next time I've got a start again and then all of these pages, 
might not cover that because that's quite cool. Yep. Oh, so's that. M maybe there's less to cover on this side. I'll definitely put something there and there. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do here. The power of paint. Yep, got an idea for that page. These page, these bits are quite painterly. And then that's stuck down. We might do something here. So, yeah. Pleased with that today. And um, that's me. So, thanks for joining me. And um, if you've enjoyed the video, a wee thumbs up would be great. So, take care. And see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now.